Hi children, welcome to EduCup. Today we are with a new video from Grade 10 Science. This is Unit 12, Equilibrium of Forces. I have divided this lesson into two parts. Now we are discussing the first one. So our first subtopic is Introduction to Equilibrium of Forces. This diagram shows you two groups pulling a rope. In competition of pulling a rope, two groups pull the rope in two opposite directions. When the force exerted in one direction become greater than the force exerted in the other direction, the rope moves in the direction of the larger force. When both groups pull with equal forces, the rope will remain at rest without moving in either direction. The sum of the two forces becomes zero. In this situation, the rope is said to be in equilibrium under the action of the forces in the two directions. Okay, this sentence shows you an object suspended by a stream balance. Here, there are two forces acting on the object. One force is the weight of the object with arise due to the gravitational force. The other is the upward force exerted by the spring of the balance in order to keep the object from falling onto the ground. Under the action of these two forces, the object remains at rest. That is, the object is in equilibrium under two forces. This figure shows you a sphere suspended by a string. The weight of the sphere is acting vertically downwards. The sphere remains at the rest as the vertically upward force applied by the string balances the forces due to its weight. In this instance, the sphere remains in equilibrium under the downward force due to the weight. In here, weight is showing using capital W and the upward force, tension. We use T for show the tension exerted by the string. The force applied by the string is called tension. In daily life, we come across situation where various forces act on objects quite frequently. Objects can remain in equilibrium under two, three or even many forces. Here we consider instances where objects remain in equilibrium under two or three forces. Our second subtopic is equilibrium of body under two forces. We learned about effective force or resultant force of two core line of forces acting on one point. In this lesson on Resultant force. In this lesson, you have learned that while certain force is acting on an object, while a certain force is acting on an object, if it is pulled by another force in the opposite direction, the magnitude of the resultant force decreases. When an object is said to be in equilibrium, what does it mean that the resultant force of two objects acting on the object is zero? Now, the first activity, we have to investigate the factors required to keep an object in equilibrium under two forces acting in opposite direction along the same line. So, we need a ring two spring balances here. Let's see what we have to do in here. Place the ring horizontally on the table and pull it with the two balances in opposite directions as shown in the figure. By varying the extent of the pull, apply force of varying magnitudes on the object. In each attempt, the ring must be kept at the rest. The ring says 
at the rest only when it is in equilibrium under the action of two forces on opposite direction. Every time the ring is in equilibrium, you will observe that the reading of the string balances are equal. That is, at equilibrium, the two forces are equal in magnitude. Now try to maintain equilibrium without having two forces along the same line. You will find out that this is impossible. That is, every time the two forces are in equilibrium, they must be aligned along the same line and their direction must be opposite to one another. In second activity, we need a cubic shaped block wood, two Newton balances, two rings to fix the balances to the wooden block. In here, fix the two rings to the centers of two opposite faces of the block of the wood as shown in the figure. Now attach the two Newton balance to the two rings and pull the block of the wood along the two directions applying force of various magnitudes. You will observe that the block of wood moves in the direction whenever there is a non-zero resultant force and that is remains stationary whenever the resultant force is zero. That is every time the block of wood is in equilibrium. The two forces acting on it is opposite direction have equal magnitudes. An object placed on a table, you can see in this figure, why doesn't the object fall down? In this case, the weight of the object acting vertically downwards is balanced by the perpendicular reaction force exerted vertically upward by the table. That is, the object is in equilibrium under the action of two forces mentioned above and the object remains at the rest. If an object suspended by string as shown in this figure remains in equilibrium, the reason is that a force equal to the weight of the object is acting vertically upwards along the string. The force exerted upward by the string is known as the tension of the string. As the object is held in equilibrium by two forces, its weight and the tension of the string, the object remains at the rest. In each of instances described above, only two forces were acting on the object. In addition to the two forces were equal in magnitude and opposite in the direction. Also, their lines of action were the same. That is for an object remain in equilibrium. The following condition must be satisfied. First one, the two forces must have equal magnitudes. Second one, the two forces must act along two opposite directions. Third one, both forces must lie along the same line of action.